Hello everybody. So, I am wanting to show you my Minecraft world. So, let's begin. This is our city. So, this world was created at the beginning of the pandemic with me and two of my close friends that I've been good friends with since high school, which is 25 years ago. So it's been a while. And what I love about this is all three of us have different personalities and you can definitely see that in our world. So this is our bee colony where we have some drop boxes for the honey. And you don't want to get too close to the bees and fight them or they will get angry. So then let's go over to our city. Let's see how much honey is in here. Uh, quite a bit. Ooh, honey in bottles. What's this? Flint and steel. So they're a little bit better at Minecraft than me. So actually I don't know a whole lot about all the stuff and how to get it, but I have honed in on a few specialty things, like getting fish in a bucket um, and breeding cats. So this is our pumpkin, jack-o'-lantern. No, these are just the pumpkins. I believe those are the pumpkins. So we went for a trip to get a bunch of llamas a couple weeks ago. And this is now our llama farm. And you can actually make the little clothing for the llamas using the wool. It's incredible. And they're all different colors. Hey, why doesn't he have any? Oh, let me go in there. So see that guy without any clothes on? This guy? He needs some clothes. But I don't think I have any wool on me. I do not. Okay. So, I will need to go get some wool. I'll do that in a minute. This is our roller coaster. That's the little button. I'm not sure where the cart is right now. It must be at the other location. Here's one of our dogs. This is our magic room. So, we have our little library and our magic scroll here. All of our magic items. These are a lot of books that I have found while fishing. Ooh, lapis lazuli. Very rare. Oh, and a gem. So pretty. Okay. So, there's that. And then he's got this really cool thing over here. I'm not sure what it is. Um, some kind of casting thing. And then he's got a little well. Uh, so, this is an anvil, some other stuff, and then he's got cool stuff in here. Potion of night vision. Ooh, fire resistance. I haven't seen these before. I use the water breathing a lot, obviously. Magma cream, fermented spider eye. Ooh, golden carrot. Glycerine melon slice. And a lot of nether works. So we went to the nether world recently. All right. I think he's got some growing out here, too. Where is it? Yes, this is where all the nether wort is coming from. Some kind of eternal fire. Very cool. So that's our little hut. I'll go out there in a bit. And then there's actually something else out here that I will have to show you. Wow, can't even see it. Um, I'll have to go out there so we can see it. All right, so... When you go down this hill, we have our main courtyard. This is our waterfall. Very pretty with little glass things. This is our storage chamber. So we have all of our boxes um, labeled. I, of course, did not do any of this. This was all the Supreme King's doing. The one who runs the server. I'm not going to say his name, but... Uh, We'll just call him C. So C does all of this. Oh, there's me. And then I have quartz. So pretty. But you can't actually just put quartz like on a table. It's kind of a bummer, but 
apparently with the next expansion, they are going to, which would be great. Here is our jack-o'-lantern we use as lighting, which I love. This is all of our stuff where you can cook things or make iron nuggets, a bunch of other stuff. And then this is where I, the anvil is where I name my cats with their name tags. Um, and then all the really cool stuff is in the mob drop box, which is somewhere over here. I need to get some wool before we leave. Mob drops. String, spider webs, feathers. I just think it's cool stuff. All right. And then we made cakes and cookies. Lots of cakes. I'll show you the cake and how you can eat them here in a bit. Let's see, I think the wool is down this aisle. If I remember correctly. Wool? Yes. Okay. So what color wool do I want this llama to be? Let's do... Well, I always do green, but I don't think we've done brown, maybe? Let's see what brown looks like. Definitely don't need that much. That back. Okay. So that is our storage area and our workspace. Then we built, well, I didn't build this. Um, I'll call her L. L built this. It's a courtyard pattern since we did just have a bunch of grass here and we decided oh do a little something different i built this it's a little quartz bench to sit on and these are c lights i believe and they give off light also but see i put a little bench here and these are called quartz pillars they have a kind of different design and then i put a little bench over here so cute this is our flower garden all the different flowers that we like. And then we have our horse stables over here and all the saddles and tethers are in our box. The leads are the hardest thing to get and I tend to lose them, which of course annoys them to no end. This is such a pretty one. I never get to ride this one. I usually have to ride the gold one. That's okay. So I forget what's in here. Oh, this is the chicken farm chicken coop and then it drops eggs down into our storage chamber down here and there's way too many chickens it's really not good for them I'm sure they're all just trapped in there let's go up here Ooh, look at all the chickens oh there's not as many as usual I wonder if he killed and ate some so there's the horses there's our storage chamber our waterfall let's go look at our aquarium I made kind of a pattern over here on this lake. I thought I needed some fun stuff there. And then this is the roller coaster. It actually goes underground. I need to find where the cart is and we will go on the roller coaster. There it is. So this is our aquarium, which I am super proud of. We took all the coral and put it in here. And then I had to go fish with a bucket to get the little fishies in there. And it's hard to get all the different types of fish. If you kill them, they actually just look like only three different ones. And then to get the different ones, it was a little more difficult. So let's go on the roller coaster and then we'll do some other stuff. Ooh, yippee, yippee, yippee. Don't remember when it goes, I know it goes underground in a cave. And then C was kind enough to put a, I think you have to hit this again. Yep. A, in case I get stuck down there, there's a break glass chamber to get out with. See? <laughs> Very cute. Just in case. But he's got the engineering rigged so that it doesn't stop down there anymore, which is nice. So that is our roller coaster. How do I get out of here again? Shit. Yes. Okay. So, this is our cactus farm next to our botanic gardens. All glass again, a couple of rugs inside. Very pretty with some lanterns. Looks like it's actually getting dark, so it might be getting to nightfall. 
So this is our botanic gardens. And then we are in the process of doing two different things. So there's our bridge over there. That is our ziggurat, ziggurat, sorry, ancient pyramid. So this is, oh, I didn't realize this was a mushroom house because I had put the bushes around there. Uh, somebody put a door in here. I don't remember doing that. So mushroom house now. This is our map area. Obviously, even though we've spent, oh, probably a good hundred hours more than that playing this game, it doesn't look like we've gotten a lot of the map, but um, it's actually a lot of travel right there. Very beautiful. Elle does this. Um, she goes out, scopes out, and organizes the map. So this is our ziggurat. Ooh, so pretty. And this was a lava pit, and I had them put glass over it so that I wouldn't fall in. And then we can walk on it and look down at the lava. Ooh. We actually went to the netherworld, and then we hopped on this... Oh, crap, I picked up an egg. Um, we had a stick with a mushroom on it, a blue mushroom, and we rode around these little lava creature things. They were very fun. Um, we'll have to do that again. So this is the way to get inside the ziggurat. And it's so pretty. Look at the tree. All different colors. A couple of storages. Well done. Very pretty. Go back out. Okay. Oh, it's nighttime now. Okay. So while we're out here, there's a cow. This is our cow fenced in area. Our pig fenced in area next to the courtyard. So there's a house over there. It's near where my house is. Let's go look at this house. And then Hadrian's Wall should be around here somewhere. And that's where we're building a new type of structure. So there are little houses, different kinds of houses all over town. Elle likes to just build different structures just to experiment. This is actually one of my favorites. Very well done. She'll get mad if I don't close the door. Beep. Actually, they both get mad when I don't close doors, which I rarely do. All right. I love this tree. This ground that the tree grows on is just the prettiest. The only thing that is prettier than that biodome is the blue one, which is like, I don't know if that's part of the netherworld or if it's called something else. So this is our beach house over here. It's very cool. It's like a little island. And then that is our, you can see our big bonfire out in the distance. It's kind of like a homing point. Let's go back this way. I believe Hadrian's wall is over here. Yeah, our city has gotten so big at this point. I guess we shouldn't call it a city. Our little town. I get lost. But they did give me a compass. You can see it in my um, log there at the bottom. And it points me to my home. What is this home? I don't remember doing this. What one was this for? I think it's just a random storage area that must have been started. Okay. Well, let's go look at my house. We might run into Hadrian's wall on the way there. I think it's over on this side, maybe. Um, I spend close to two hours here every single week. And yeah, can't figure out how to get from place to place. Slightly pathetic. You know, not totally, but uh, slightly, maybe. So there's this beautiful house up on this hill on this mountain. These are all our bamboo farm, kind of. I do like bamboo. I would like to maybe build a house with some of that material. So it's a pretty little river lake. And there's a house up there. Where the hell am I? What is going on? I need to get back to my home. Oh, there's, so you see that blue curly thing going up into the sky? That is the new nature path that we are working on. 
So that is a landmark that I can look for. So I made this lake and then we put little plants on it. We made it all different levels so that it's like you go deeper just like you do when you swim in a lake, which I think is kind of fun. So this is our nature area and the goal was to have each kind of biodome <coughs> be in here so that you could be like walking through each biodome. Isn't this cute? The little picnic table with carpet on the top. It's a fence with carpet on the top which makes it look like a picnic table. And then this is my favorite biodome type. You got all these little nether warts and blue green and these huge like tree type things look kind of like mushrooms and these vines I just I really like the coloring on this one so there's that biodome and then this is just the normal like sequoia type trees what's that say follow the very long oh this takes you to the mesa coral llamas in the desert okay these are birch trees where is the other biodome? Darn it. Where is the other biodome? We made one with the really pretty soil. I thought it was right here. Oh, it is right here. <coughs> there it is. So yeah, we brought back some mushrooms and it started to form the soil into this type and then these huge trees that you can get. And then this is our little Hadrian's Wall. See, Hadrian's Wall. So pretty. Not quite like Hadrian's Wall, but close. This is our temple? Chapel? Yeah, the chapel with the stained glass windows. Not bad. So now we're going towards my home and my kitty's home. There's a little river down there, lily pads, and then there's this beautiful house up here that is floating and it's got a waterfall that comes down. And then this is my house. We'll go over there. So I have more of kind of an eclectic style, maybe not quite as organized. Um, so I basically randomly picked a bunch of shit I liked and put it all in there. This is terracotta that you can um, put in a kiln to form different colors depending on the terracotta color that you put in there. They come up with some really cool patterns um, and I like those a lot. So there's a bunch of that. This is green wool because I like green. Let me go in. Okay. Here's my cake. I'm going to eat some. Oh, I'm not hungry. It won't let me eat any. But normally if you right click on the cake, it'll just give you a piece if you're hungry. And then I put a little mushroom in a pot and I actually made this banner got an apple on it and I took a long time trying to get pictures that I actually liked so you have to it's random so you post it then if you don't like it you have to destroy it and then you have to put another one there's my green bed my green carpeting and then I've become obsessed with quartz blocks recently so I made a little bench and then a quartz pillar and another little quartz bench and then I put these lanterns here so at night I can see. And then there's glass, stained glass going up and along the side. I like my little house. Um, everybody else thinks it's kind of funky maybe. You know, not totally useful, but I like my little house. And then it's got a little underground area over here and a waterfall. I do love these vines. These berries actually hurt you, so I probably shouldn't have put them there. This is the entrance to the mining place. Ooh, she put a tree in here. And a waterfall. Oh, well, that's cool. I haven't been in here in a while. And then if you go down, you get more and more um, of the caving area, mining, to get stuff. So I'm going to go back out. I'm going to show you my cats. Try not to hit these berries. Okay. So there's this huge ravine over here. So we put a wall so that I wouldn't fall in. Ooh, scary ravine. Okay. It's actually really, really deep down there. You can't see it from the fence here. I'll go over here. The grand Minecraft chasm. 
So if you come, ah, ah, that's why we had the fence. Okay. So if you look down, it goes deeper and deeper and deeper and to try to get out of there is very difficult. I did fall down. I mostly just had C transport me because it's his server. So yeah, I'm pathetic like that. So this is the cat's house. My husband actually made this house when he first started playing with us and then he quit. And then it got struck by lightning and it burned down and it killed some of my cats. And so I had to put some quartz blocks here to replace the stuff that was burned down. So here are all my cats and I don't feel like they're all here. One, two, three, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. There should be 10. See, these cats, I sit them down so that I don't lose them. And then eventually I always lose one. I think one of them might have got killed last time with the lightning that I didn't realize. But anyway, Xanadu is the leader. And she was the mama, Kitty. And then Terpsichore. Where is Terpsichore? <gasps> Terpsichore is the one that died. Damn it. Okay. So... These are all named after muses. So Xanadu and Terpsichore actually were the ones that I mated. And then they produced all these um, black and white kittens. And then I mated Xanadu with one of these other ones the other day. And then it got a white kitten, which I was very surprised at. Because all the other ones were black and white. So normally, before I only had just Xanadu was the only yellow kitten. So let's go ahead and mate two of them so that they will produce a kitten since I'm missing one and I'm going to have to go make another name tag. Let's go with that one. Um, I don't want to produce more than the 10 kittens because Chad gets really angry that they're all over the place. Um, and then it just goes poorly. So he ends up killing them with a hatchet, and I don't want to do that. Look at these fishies, they're so pretty. So let's go back. And I still need to go make the llama. So this is the farm, these are the pumpkins. And that is the hobbit house that's up above. So what am I getting? Oh, I need to get a name tag. So this was our main area at first. This was actually all that we had. So here's the sheep. Here's the dogs. Um, there used to be a building here, and we took that down. Ooh, I didn't see the floating trees up here. Oh, that's really pretty. Well done. Oh, let's go make the llama's outfit real quick, and then I'll go get it. <gasps> there you are! <gasps> what are you doing out here? Oh, no, I must have... Let her start walking. Uh-oh. Okay. So let's, this is a slime ball, slime cube. There's a slime farm down here. Okay, so which llama has no clothes? Where are you? Stop. They all turn to me at the same time, and then I, I get confused. And you can't jump the fence. You do have to actually go in. And then if I don't close it, they'll all escape. Okay. So, right click on the llama. No, I have to get on the llama? Can't remember. Not sure which thing I have to do here. Oh man, I totally don't remember how to do this. How do you make the llama close? Let's go with, let me get some wool. So we have the brown wool. And then let's put it in my hands. Okay, that's not it. Let's see if I can get onto, why can't I get on the llama? <sighs> why is this happening to me? Okay. Can I get on these llamas? Yes, I just left shift. Oh. Oh, I think I know what's happening. Okay. I think I have to feed him to get him to be tame because he's probably a baby that's grown up.
and he's probably not tamed yet. Okay. Yeah. So, what did we feed the llamas? Dang it. I think it was seeds of some kind? Okay, so we gotta get some seeds. Okay, so let's go back to the main area. Did I show you guys the pond with the waterfall? Yes. Okay. So that's the pond. Let's go back. Over here. Okay. What else do I need to get? Oh yes, a name tag for my cats. So, going back to the storage area. I don't know if I used all the name tags. That'll be a bummer. Yep. Okay. So, name tags are not in the mob drop. Where are they? Aha! Just need one. Okay, and that was Terpsichore. Look at all this cool stuff. I found this Nautilus shell while fishing. That's a lot of what I do here. I fish for stuff. Ooh, prismarine crystals. That's pretty. Heart of the Sea. That's, I think, no, I don't think that's the thing that glows. I think maybe you use it to make the thing that glows. All right. So I need something to feed that guy. That'll be over here. Seeds. Oh, Xanadu keeps following me because I didn't set her down. Um, where are the seedlings, Xanadu? Aha. I think it's in here. Yes. Okay. I think they eat wheat seeds. Um, oh, where did he get the cocoa beans from? Oh, that's cool. Okay. So got my wheat seeds. I need to go put a name tag on here. So I go to the anvil and where's the name tag? Okay. So we need to go feed the llamas and then see if my new baby kitten has arrived. So let's see if I can figure out how to do this. Shouldn't be that hard to feed a llama and then put his outfit on. Come here little llama. Ooh, the Hobbit world you can see. It's actually the wizard tower, I believe. So where do I get in? Okay. Let's go in here. I hate the way these llamas just look at me like this. Okay. So, wheat seeds. I don't know why I have these stairs. Oh, I think that was when we were building the... Oh, the other thing I need to show you. I forgot. Okay. So, wheat seeds. Okay. Nothing's happening. God dang it. What the... Does he want wheat? Like, actual wheat? Eh. I could swear that they ate seeds but uh, apparently I'm wrong. Actually, hey, close. Oh no. Jeez. Okay, there might be some wheat over here I can just harvest. Though the last time I harvested something, C got really mad at me. Um, ooh, what did I get? Okay, I did get some wheat, okay. Um, because I'm supposed to plant them again after I take them or something, which I don't do. Um, but I'm just going to run away. They'll never know, except for they'll probably watch this video. Okay, let's go in here. Okay. Ah, no. Okay. So, let's give them the wheat and see if that works. Oh, come on. What? Ah. Oh, he let me get on. Okay. What's happening? Why am I trapped? Oh. I think 
I'm taming him. Yep, he loves me. Okay, cool. So now he loves me. So now... Ah, yes! Okay, I look at the inventory. That's how you do it. Okay. Okay, come on, come on. Oh, come on. Oh, I need carpet. Ah! Ah, okay. I need carpet instead of wool. All right, let's go. Gosh, I wish I could jump these fences. Let's go name my cat. And then we'll come back and I will bring some carpet instead of wool. The idiot I am. All right, let's go down here. As C says, um, everything in Minecraft is just like in the real world. So if you had really thought about it, I would not have been able to make a costume out of pure wool. It would have had to be actual cloth, which is the more carpety. Let's see if there's a new baby and if he ran away. Why is there no new baby? Oh, I think because Xanadu came with me. Gosh dang it. Okay. I need a new baby. So, let's give you some cod. Some cod. Nope, nope, nope. Cod. Okay, cod. Nope, nope, sit down. Sit down. Okay. So, there should be another kitten here soon. Why is there no kitten? Ugh. Okay, why is Xanadu walking around? Okay, Xanadu. Ah, no, sit down. Okay. Okay, so all the cats are in one place. We'll have to come back again later. <sighs> See if some more kittens. Maybe I should just feed a bunch of them just in case. Sit down. Um, I'm just trying to get them to mate here. Sit down, Xanadu. Okay. I don't know why they're not producing a kitten this time. They normally, when I give them fish, just immediately produce a kitten. So... I want to show you my thing that we've been working on. So I probably should do that next. I guess I could go, I wonder if I could make some carpet. I could probably figure it out. So here's the TARDIS banner, which there was another one in the storage chamber. Okay, wool. It's over here. Okay, wool. Okay, so this is the wool. I'm going to put the brown back. And then, oh shit. Oh, didn't mean to do that. I don't know where it went. Okay, mixed wool carpet. Okay, so we got gray carpet, orange carpet. I feel like we've done all these colors. Um, I don't know if it requires more than one, so we'll just get... Two, even though I think we've already done those colors. Oh, there's the boat. Let's go up here to the llamas real quick. Okay. Just want to get this guy some clothes. Um, okay. Fence. Close fence. Okay. Let's go over here and get on the llama again. Boom, chicka wow wow. Okay, so my carpeting. Let's see. E, that's right. Okay, so let's see what the yellow does. Okay, I think we definitely have had yellow. Green. I think we definitely have green. I think I'm sitting next to both of those things. But that's okay, because I really like green, so. We'll just make another green. Okay. Actually, it might be a different green than the other one. Ah! Get off of him. Okay. Eh, I think it's definitely the same green. That's the darker green. Okay. Well, if we ever make brown carpet, I'll come back and give him a new outfit. Now they all have clothes. That is done. Let's go to the boats because I want to show you. Actually, I don't even need to go on the boat. C and L always go on boats, because it takes forever to get out there. I guess I could. Let's go on the boat. 
never run. Can't remember how. I think you hold shift down, but I have it written down somewhere. Okay. Oh wait, no, I can't get out of this one. This one. Okay. So let's move out of here. Oh, come on. Okay. Twirl around. Ah. Come on, just go backwards. What is it doing? Why can't I turn around? Oh, there it is. Okay. So this is what we've been working on. I wanted to make a Colossus of Rhodes out in our harbor. So we have outlined him in dirt. And then we're going to replace him with other materials. And then we made him wide enough so that we could put a boat through his legs, just like the original Colossus Rhodes. Yay! And then he's going to have an actual bonfire up here that he's holding up. It's going to be awesome. And this is our little town. Let's turn around. Okay. So, I think that is pretty much it. This is our Minecraft world. And it's actually quite fun. So if you get a chance to join a Minecraft world, you should definitely do it. Oh yeah, this is our little canopy with the fire. Alright, thanks so much for watching. Bye!